The deep sea is a world of extremes. So far in this series, we've taken a look at the ways in which animals have adapted to survive in the cold, dark depths. We've explored the ecosystems of this unforgiving realm and seen how communities of life cling to whatever source of energy they can find, from vents of superheated water to the carrying of sunken whales. But now it's time to dive even deeper and discover a place where life is pushed to its absolute limits. For at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, the seafloor widens into a gaping abyss of obscurities fish that seem to lack faces, sprawling fields of bacteria, and giants that resemble life from another planet. Let's take a closer look at the hidden world of the Mariana Trench, unveiling the Mariana Trench, life, mystery and survival at Earth's deepest point. The infamous Mariana Trench sits like a crescent-shaped dent in the floor of the Pacific a 2,550 kilometer long, 69 kilometer wide fracture that plummets down into a pure black void. At the bottom, it hosts the deepest known location on Earth, the Challenger Deep, 11,033 meters or 36,200 feet beneath the waves. This incredible abyss is shrouded in mystery and has captured the imagination of scientists and explorers for generations. It represents not only the limits of human exploration, but also the profound unknowns about life on Earth. The trench itself is but one part of a vast interconnected network of deep scars that cut across the ocean floor. These features, known as subduction zones, are formed from the movement of tectonic plates. In the case of the Mariana Trench, the western edge of the Pacific Plate was thrust beneath the smaller Mariana Plate to the west, creating the immense chasmic fracture. As one plate is forced downward, another is pushed upward, resulting in the formation of towering mountain ranges, island arcs and volcanic chains. Molten material then rises through volcanoes near the trench, building the nearby Mariana Islands, which stand as geological witnesses to the immense dynamic forces at work beneath the ocean's surface. At its deepest point, the Mariana Trench dips down into a little explored zone of the ocean known as the Hadal Zone. This region is named after Hades, the ancient Greek god of the underworld, due to its extreme conditions and dark, foreboding nature. The Hadal Zone is characterized by its intense environmental pressures, temperatures that hover just above freezing, and a total absence of sunlight. In this realm, life must contend with an oppressive combination of darkness, acidic water, scarce nutrients, and pressures that are equivalent to hundreds of times the atmospheric pressure at sea level. These conditions make it an incredibly harsh and unwelcoming habitat for living organisms. Yet, this extreme environment has fostered unique adaptations among the creatures that dwell there. Some organisms have developed specialized biochemical processes that allow them to endure immense pressure, while others have evolved unique physical structures that protect them from the crushing weight of the ocean above. For much of history, it was believed that the Mariana Trench and other similar depths were dead zones, void of any life at all. Early scientific theories painted these regions as inhospitable wastelands, completely cut off from the ecosystems that thrived in shallower waters. The idea that life could exist in such an extreme environment was once considered a near impossible frontier, an empty void full of perils that no human could ever hope to conquer. But in the 19th century, the perception of the trench and its depths was about to undergo a dramatic transformation. The Mariana Trench was first plumbed in 1875 during the HMS Challenger expedition, one of the most significant scientific voyages of the 19th century. The ship's crew cast a weighted sounding line over the side of the vessel and quickly discovered that they needed more rope, indicating that they were in an area much deeper than anticipated. The discovery of such a profound depth shocked the scientific community and captivated the public imagination. 
It sparked debates about what might lie in the unexplored expanse of the ocean's depths and prompted many to believe that the trench could hold answers to some of the greatest mysteries of marine biology and geology. News of this discovery caught the eye of the ambitious, who realized that simply knowing of the trench's existence was not enough. To venture to its depths, to explore the silent pressure-laden world beyond human reach, would be a monumental challenge. It set the stage for future expeditions, driven by curiosity and a thirst for knowledge that would push the limits of engineering and human determination. This fascination with the Mariana Trench, with its shadowy depths and the potential for undiscovered life forms, has continued to inspire scientists and explorers to this day. As technology has advanced over the years, so too have the methods for exploring this enigmatic part of our planet, revealing more about the resilient and bizarre creatures that call it home, and in turn, offering invaluable insights into the adaptability of life itself. In 1960-85, years after the Challenger Deep was discovered, on that pioneering voyage, two men set out to reach the bottom, Jack Picard and Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh. Sheltered only by a cramped bathyscaph submersible called the Trieste, their five-hour descent was fraught with challenges. The water pressure near the bottom was nearly a thousand times greater than atmospheric pressure at sea level. During the journey, this caused the viewing window to crack, limiting their time spent on the sea floor to only 20 minutes. Even in such a short amount of time, what they saw would shock the scientific community. Life, pale shrimp and flounder-like fish, along with what they described as a dark brown dais ooze that covered the seafloor. Picard described this moment with excitement in a book about the voyage. Here, in an instant, was the answer that biologists had asked for decades. Could life exist in the greatest depths of the ocean? It could. When James Cameron followed in the Trieste's footsteps on board the Deep Sea Challenger in 2012, he too saw the sprawling microbial mats, bizarre-looking filamentous clumps of microorganisms living off chemicals from altered rocks. 10,912 meters or 35,883 feet down in a sunless world. It is these bacteria that support more complex creatures, for without sunlight, larger animals must instead rely on the energy produced by bacteria undergoing chemosynthesis the deep-sea equivalent to photosynthesis. The footage you're seeing now was taken by an unmanned Japanese submersible called Kao in 1996. Having reached a depth of 10,897 meters, it marked the deepest dive for an unmanned submersible at the time. Its goal was to sample bacteria from the mats that Picard and Walsh had observed nearly 40 years earlier. They found that a number of these bacterial species appeared to be obligately barophilic, meaning they thrived under high environmental pressures, proving that the idea that life could only exist in more moderate conditions was flawed. In 1998, Cow returned to the Challenger Deep and stumbled upon more complex life, a gigantic amphipod species. This discovery posed a bit of a mystery. The extreme pressures of the deep sea cause calcium carbonate, what makes up the shells of amphipods and many marine animals, to dissolve more readily in water, leaving their soft bodies vulnerable. As such, amphipods are not usually found below about 5,000 meters or 16,400 feet, and yet here, in cow's lights, was a giant amphipod, retaining even its tough exoskeleton. It has since been found that they protect their shells using a form of aluminum armor, using chemicals in their gut to extract aluminum ions from the seafloor mud while they forage for food. In their role as detritivores, these amphipods occupy a key role in the ecosystem. They act as a cleanup crew, possessing enzymes that are able to digest even wood. In more recent times, Remote submersibles equipped with advanced technology have captured an array of oddities in the Mariana Trench, shedding light on its hidden, alien-like ecosystem. Among the most abundant and fascinating inhabitants are the sea cucumbers, including the extraordinary sea pig. 
This creature is known for its distinctive ring of feeding tentacles which it uses to sift through the deep, silty mud searching for organic matter to consume. The sea pig's unique method of survival showcases the astonishing adaptations that life in the trench has evolved to endure the harsh conditions of its environment. Its body, soft and gelatinous, is perfectly suited to withstand the crushing pressures found at these depths. The trench's depths are so extreme that conventional marine life cannot endure them. For example, it is thought that fish, with their fragile skeletal structures, would be unable to survive under such immense pressure, which could dissolve their bones. This has led some scientists to speculate that what was initially identified as Picard's fish might have actually been a sea cucumber, showcasing the kind of extraordinary adaptability found in this part of the ocean. Yet while fish are rare at these depths, the trench's ecosystem does host remarkable life forms like the Mariana snailfish, discovered in 2014. This deep sea dweller has adapted to life at 8,000 meters or 26,200 feet, a full two kilometers above the Challenger Deep. Its discovery was marked by the scientific naming of the species in honor of Sub-Lieutenant Herbert Swire, who had been part of the original HMS Challenger expedition. The trench also teems with other unusual life forms that seem to defy conventional biology. Gigantic xenophyophores, single-celled organisms that can grow to 20 centimeters in diameter, are some of the most eye-catching creatures observed in the trench. These massive, single-celled organisms are found anchored to the ocean floor, absorbing nutrients from their surroundings and playing a role in the sedimentary ecosystem. The sheer size and complexity of these xenophyophores are a testament to the uncharted adaptability of deep-sea life. Predatory tunicates, known as sea squirts, are another peculiar and less well-known resident of the trench. These creatures anchor themselves to the vertical walls of underwater canyons and wait in patient ambush for passing prey. Using specialized adaptations, sea squirts can catch tiny plankton and other small organisms that come within reach. Their method of survival illustrates the trench's ecosystem's reliance on a combination of patience and strategic predation. Adding to the extraordinary tableau are the deep-sea hatchetfish, whose bioluminescence allows them to blend seamlessly with the faint light from above, making them virtually invisible to both predators and prey. This ability to camouflage using natural light emissions is essential in a place where visibility is minimal and the predators that lurk in the dark are among the most formidable on Earth. Despite the growing amount of footage and data collected from these depths, we have only just begun to scratch the surface of what the Mariana Trench holds. It is highly likely that countless species remain undiscovered, waiting to be revealed as scientific technology continues to evolve. Each new species contributes a crucial piece to the puzzle of understanding how life can adapt and survive in such extreme environments. Researching the unique microorganisms that thrive in the trench could lead to pivotal breakthroughs in biomedicine and biotechnology. These organisms, having evolved to withstand immense pressure, extreme cold and total darkness, could inspire innovations in medical treatments, the development of new materials and insights into the origins of life itself. However, there is a darker side to these discoveries, the looming threat of human-driven destruction. Even the most remote corners of our planet are not immune to the reach of human activity. Plastic pollution, for instance, has been found in these deep-sea environments, revealing that even the deepest, most isolated regions of our oceans are not free from human contamination. The presence of waste in the trench raises urgent questions about the long-term impact of pollution and how it might interfere with or even endanger unknown species that have adapted to the trench's extreme conditions. Who knows how many vital discoveries could be lost before we have a chance to understand their significance and harness their potential for the betterment of science and humanity. The Mariana Trench continues to be a source of wonder and intrigue. 
reminding us that despite the technological strides we've made in exploring the oceans, the vast majority of this hidden world still lies beyond our grasp. Yet this does not diminish the importance of exploring and protecting it. Understanding the deep sea is not just about scientific curiosity. It is a call to preserve the unknown ecosystems that may one day provide the keys to life-saving advancements and offer insights into the resilience and adaptability of life on Earth. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the depths of the Mariana Trench. If you enjoyed exploring these remarkable underwater mysteries, please like, share and subscribe to support our channel. Your engagement helps us bring more stories and discoveries to you. Share this with friends and help us spread the wonder of Earth's hidden world. Stay curious and we'll see you in the next adventure.